Stephen Tibbetts, co-founder and chief executive of Ziva Aero, a Tacoma, Washington-based firm, has designed a prototype of a flying saucer-like vehicle, which recently had a successful full-scale vertical takeoff. Even the UAE has been working on such vehicles for public transport for since a few years. So do you think such kind of air travel will be the future of traveling in the distant future? No. No, no, no. It will not be the future of traveling on a large scale in the distant future. What these companies are creating is they are creating expensive toys for rich people. So when you have a helicopter kind of thing or a hovercraft kind of thing or something that, that looks like a UFO, it's going to be something that everybody desires, but only rich people can afford. It cannot be something that can be used for mass transportation. Even the biggest planes that we have today, the Boeing 747s and the Airbus 400s, A400 or whatever, they can be afforded mostly only by the rich people of the world. Right? I mean, the common man and woman in, in India would rarely travel by air. Right? Maybe once a year, maybe once in two, three years. If, if at all. So, even regular air transport is, at least for countries like India, kind of something of a luxury to some extent. It's it, The things are changing. Now, even common people can afford to travel by air. Things are changing. But until very recently, it was kind of a luxury. Now, these vehicles that these people are uh, creating, flying saucer-like things, these are going to be really expensive things. What you need is mass transportation. Mass transportation means large vehicles like trains that can transport 1,000, 2,000 people at one time and that are inexpensive and that are available on demand. I mean, let's say you want to go, let's say you are living in Bangalore or Chennai and you wake up tomorrow morning and you have this, this urge to go to, let's say, Guwahati. And let's say then, okay, you go to the station, you buy a ticket and two hours later you're on a train and you can go there. So if that sort of situation is accessible to you, that is mass transportation. That is mass transportation, the transportation that is available and accessible. When it comes to a flying saucer-like vehicle, it's going to cost a lot of money. Only a few, a few people will be able to afford it. And it's not going to be a solution for mass transportation. It's going to be a one-seater or two-seater or maybe four-seater or maybe 20-seater. And it's going to be really expensive. So it is not going to be the future of air travel. It, these are just expensive toys. The future of air tra tra the future of uh, traveling, transportation in the in the long run, in my opinion, most likely will be ground-based travel, maybe high-speed railways, maybe underground railway systems or whatever, but something that that can carry lots of people, large numbers of people at speed, at scale and bring them from point A to point B in a reasonably short amount of time. So all these fancy vehicles, they are, they are nothing but toys for rich people. So that's how I see it.